Hey everybody, the name is Chris McLean, and welcome back to Total Drama Island Simulator. Last time on Total Drama Island Simulator, we had like something that was a bit of a good competition. So anyway, as for that, we have the final remaining 10 campers are left on the show. Anyway, we have this Duncan. Gwen, Izzy, Bridget, Cody, Harold, Lindsay, and Tyler, and Heather, and Eva. <laughs> Anyways, who do you think who will win a pawn on this again? And who will see? And who totally sees that will win it the, the entire time? Anyway, the name be Chris McLean, and see you upon on Total Drama Island simulator so anyways as for this right now i know it's pretty different on this upon the different reason so here's something different i know it wouldn't allow me but still again it would be different so anyway here we are so this says the remaining people on total drama island simulator is duncan gwen and if you guys do see the word return, it means that the two people had returned to another episode. That way they can reclaim the next win of this episode. And more likely, that's the reason why they say it's returned. And also, Izzy, Bridget, Cody, Harold, Lindsay, Tyler, Heather, and then finally, Eva. <laughs> anyway... So, as for that, that's the only people that we have of the 10 people who are left in this show. Anyway, as for the alliances with the campers, we have is Gwen, Loyalty, 8, and Duncan, Loyalty, 8, Cody and Heather, they both have 7, and Gwen and Duncan both have 8. And also, as for the relationship highlights, Izzy and Heather feel natural, uh, extreme hated toward one another. E Eva and Cody feel a, a natural, unbreakable relationship towards one another. Bridget and Harold feel a natural, medium dislike toward one another. Duncan and Gwen feel a natural, medium bond toward one another. Tyler and Lindsay feel a natural uh, small bond toward one another. So anyway, here's the immunity challenge time. <laughs> this one's called Hide, Seek, and Run. So anyway, the campers who have 10 minutes to hide anywhere on the island. When the 10 minutes are over, Chef Hadget, which is me, <laughs> We'll start searching if a camper is caught. They can uh, tr try to escape uh, to home base. But if Chef Paget hits them with his water gun example, the campers is eliminated. The camper is eliminated and must help uh, search for the campers. And campers can win invincibility by being the last camper still hiding, getting uh, to home base after Chef Paget finds them or gets uh, tagging any of the remaining hiding campers after being eliminated. <laughs> so anyway, you better might as well not get caught by Chef with his water gun. But if you proceed to get caught, you, on the other hand, will automatically will be at something of a random reason to be losing. <laughs> Anyways, don't worry about that. So anyway, whenever does that happen, and also I am kind of actually kind of blur that by the way. So anyway, sorry about that, everybody. And also, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much be blurred on the screen, by the way, on the top right. So yeah, pretty much that's going to be blurred on the top right. And also, anyway, let's just get on with this anyway. So anyway, start. Go, 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 go. Anyways, on with this challenge. Eva was found by Chef. Ooh. Tyler was found by Chef. Harold was uh, Harold was found by Chef. Izzy was found by Chef. Gwen was shot by Chef's water gun. And Harold tags along with Tyler and wins invincibility. Tyler must tag someone else now. Harold uh, was found by Chef. Lindsay made it to home base without getting shot and wins and uh, wins and invincibility. <laughs> Eva was shot by Chef's water gun. 
Duncan was found by a chef, and Cody made it to home base without getting shot and wins uh, uh, wins in invincibility. Duncan made it to home base without getting shot and wins invincibility. Harold was shot by chef, Chef's water gun. Bridget was found by Chef and was shot by Chef's water gun. Heather was the last camp, uh, last camper hiding and wins invincibility. <laughs> anyway, as for the three winners, were Cody, Duncan, and he and Heather that won without getting um without Chef getting them blasted by Chef's water gun. They win tonight of in invincibility. So you can't vote to freeze them out tonight. So anyway, as for much, we'll see who gets eliminated. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is going to be pretty crazy to see who goes home for that tonight. But anyways, let's see. Anyway, as for the three winners, the winners tonight is Cody and Duncan and Heather. That one invincibility without getting blasted by Chef. Wow, was that pretty bit close to get them that easy? <laughs> well, oh, it'll be next time. Oh, next time. Really, Chef? Come on. You at least just got the few of the campers. Well, that's kind of true. But anyway, get on with it, Chris, man. I'm also going to be like, you know, going to deal with a lot of stuff in the kitchen. So just go ahead and deal with it while I go recharge my water gun, you know, to get the ones who are not safe in the home base. Well, you better have fun with that after the when the elimination ceremony's over. All right, all right, sure. But anyway, keep continuing talking. Okay, then. Anyways, so as for the events, that was Harold and Izzy bond slightly, and Cody and Harold find something in common and has a lasting impact, and Duncan and Lindsay have a major disagreement. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. and uh, as for the campers, Alliance is with Cody, and it has five loyalty, Eva has loyalty, six, Harold. Loyalty, 5. Heather, loyalty, 4. Bridget, loyalty, 5. And also, as for these targets, we are going to see who will get targeted right here. And Tyler is targeting Heather. Tyler considers Heather somewhat fretting. Uh, fretting. And Duncan is targeting Harold. Duncan does not like Harold. Izzy is targeting Tyler. Izzy extremely despises Tyler. Uh-oh. Looks like that will not be good, at least to see at much of the more of the time. Now, anyways, so let's get on with this ceremony tonight, shall we? Let's get on to the ceremony. Anyway, this is a campfire uh, this is a campfire uh, ceremony. I have eight marshmallows on this plate. If I call your name. You are safe, and you can get your marshmallow. If you do not receive a marshmallow, you must immediately return to the dock of shame to catch the boat of losers and leave. That means you're out of the contest, and you can't come back. Ever! Anyways, so, time to give you all some of the marshmallows. And also, Heather, think fast. And also, Heather caught the marshmallow, which means that Heather is safe tonight. And also, whoever does get invincibility will be getting the marshmallow first early and were mainly perfectly. So anyway, as for the few of the people, let's get on with it. And here we go with the elimination ceremony. Let's do this. Izzy. Duncan. Cody. And Bridget. Gwen. And Lindsay. Uh-oh, we got the final three. Who is going to catch the final three of the marshmallows? Will it be Eva and Harold or Tyler? Here we go. This is about to be exciting to see who gets the next marshmallow. The next marshmallow, that is Eva. We got to the down to the final two. And anyways, the last marshmallow goes to Tyler. Sorry, Harold, but you're done like dinner and you're packing home tonight. Pack your stuff and you're about to get the heck out of here. And anyways, Harold is eliminated and he must go to the dock of shame to catch the boat of losers. 
Ouch. Man, looks like Cody is no longer having a buddy buddy on his side. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty funny. So anyway, now, on with the votes, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the votes. The votes is Cody voted for Tyler. Duncan voted for Harold. Eva voted for Tyler. Harold voted for Izzy. Heather voted for Gwen. Heather voted for Harold. Bridget voted for Harold. And Izzy voted for Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay voted for Izzy. Gwen voted for Tyler. And Tyler voted for Heather. So anyway, let's count these votes that were against Tyler. One, two, and three. And also one, two, and three. Oh, wow, that was a pretty shocking there. But at the end of the final that time, that Harold was also voted uh, voted off that time. And also, speaking of which, who was voted anyway? No idea, but I think the only time that Harold was eliminated. Anyways, so, as for the votes, by the way, we had to do was a break the tie. Also, was doing a tiebreaker, by the way, with Harold and Tyler. So anyway, for the last time on that vote was Tyler that won Rock, Paper, Scissors against Harold. And also, Harold chose Rock, and Tyler chose Paper. So anyway, the name is Chris McClain. Who do you think who shall go home or shall not? But anyway, at least Harold will get to see Lashana at that point. But anyway, the name be Chris McClain, and I hope you all enjoy this time, and it'll be the final nine campers left. And also, who gets to be remain of the final nine of the campers, or gets to the final seven? Find out who will, or maybe shall not. Anyway, on Total Drama, Ireland Simulator. Anyways, as for that, Chef is catching a few other people besides Cody, Heather, and Duncan, by the way. And also, Chef, on the other hand, is also going to be recharging his uh, water gun for one reason. No idea, but he's just going to have to probably do that at some point. But also, I would actually allow Cody and Duncan and Heather to not get tortured by Chef. But as for the other people who were not getting close to the home base, will get tortured by a chef's water gun. So anyway, name Chris McClain. We'll be seeing you next time on Total Drama Island Simulator.